Welcome to a Drop Ten Media Production. Oh, are we in? Are we live? Oh, dude. Smooth. Here we go. Fucking Second butter, time's a charm, baby. baby. <laughs> Second time's a charm. I can't believe it's not. I was just thinking, how are we going to kick this off? And then I saw this status in the first just line alone says, casting call. I'm looking for teens with disabilities. Oh, God. <laughs> and you're like, what a recruitment. <laughs> what a status. Well, I am friends with a lot of people with disabilities. I uh, <laughs> hang out with a lot of teens, actually. I hang out with, none of them are disabled yet, but uh, <laughs> disabled teens is a sick. Uh, it's a sick Lifetime movie, <laughs> dude. Can you like that's a a harsh label to just be like searching for? Yeah, well, I don't know what are you doing. Like, it better be a commercial for disabled high school, or else why are you using those children? Well, is it a, a, an official person posting it, or is it some fucking local? It comic? has one like. <laughs> it has one like. Yeah, okay, all right. So. That's, that's pretty kinda, good. Th- there's a whole range of sketchy that could be. I feel like local comic posting, like, <laughs> looking for disabled teens. It's like, really got to fucking get in the boot camp for my material. Like, I wonder if that's, like, how bad guys in, like, Gotham City were just recruiting, like, ar- <laughs> like the Joker's army. They're, like, looking for teens with disabilities. If you guys want to be in this thing, we'll blame you for it. We'll throw you in the asylum. Yeah. Like, what? You got schizophrenia or something? Perfect, kid. Yeah, dude, exactly. We don't need to see the disability. <laughs> hey, this kid thinks he's a freaking penguin. Get him over here. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He's perfect. No, no, no. He didn't think he was a penguin. He was just fat and walked like a penguin, and everyone else was like, look at this fucking freak. Do you imagine the casting? They're like, who's fat and could walk like a penguin? And they were like, dude, Danny DeVito. (laughs) Well, dude, we talked about it here, how, like, Jonah Hill wanted to be in the movie, and he wanted to be the Riddler, and they were like, no, you're the penguin. And he was like, fuck that. I'm out. (laughs) That's so rude. They just cast someone super... They cast Colin Farrell to play the penguin Yeah, which is bullshit, and I don't even want to see that. What? You don't want to see that? I mean, Colin Farrell is the penguin... That's like Ryan Foster is the I penguin. Don't I'm not give into a it. Shit, dude. That's, yeah. that's like you as the Riddler. Oh, I can't, <laughs> wait for, I can't wait for my girlfriend to want to bang the penguin. Awesome. I can't wait for that. Oh, the internet's down. Does that mean we're down? Ev, Ev, tell me if we're down. Don't lie to no, me. No, we're good right now. It's just the internet. And that, that actually is something we can blame on. Neil. All right, yeah, oh let's God. do it. I don't know if he's saying real words or not. Speaking of disabilities, I... Um, I don't like how much... You pointed at <laughs> me with every finger when you said yeah, that. Speaking of disabilities... <laughs> you have all of them. circle you. <laughs> there's one there, there's one there, there's one there. I did that show uh, where I told you they sent me the list, the clean show, where they oh, sent me the list where fuck. they were like, no F word, no C word, no jokes about retards. You're like, I think you're not allowed <laughs> to send out lists. We all know they're retarded, but... <laughs> yeah. He like makes jokes himself. He's like, yeah, well, listen, are they hilarious? Of course. But we can't talk about it because my mom will be there. But I got... I, and she's retarded. So ready? Here's... I'll, I'll, I'm going to give you the journey of the day I had. The night before, all my friends did acid. I did not because I knew that I had to drive to Maryland to do this show. Okay, I was like, "There's no way." It was like it was like three in the morning. Like, should we do it? I'm like, I don't got time. <laughs> you do a clean show with zero serotonin in your yeah, body. I You're do just it. like, <sighs> hey, God, it's hard to doing? get through the day. Huh? How you guys doing? Wow, my parents are the worst, huh? You ever meet God and then? <sighs> it's no joke. Feel like everything else is empty. <laughs> but so I fucking uh, I go, no, dude, I got I got a show in Maryland. So I wake up in the morning and I look at all of my messages that I had about this show. And I quickly realized that no aspect of any of the messages mentioned Maryland. And I don't know where I got Maryland, but the show is not in Maryland. Oh. <laughs> but for some reason, I wrote down in my car- calendar, Maryland show. You were like, all right, fucking stupid clean show where they still say retarded. <laughs> I'm thinking Baltimore. Yeah. <laughs> like somewhere outside of Baltimore, right? Close enough to say retarded, but far enough away that we don't say fucking retarded. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I fucking look at my thing and I go, oh, it's in Palmyra. That's like ten minutes away Did from my house. Did you rearrange like Maryland? <laughs> like it's got the like the Merrill in it. No, <laughs> I thought it was the Pokemon Merrill. Oh, so weird that they sent me this as a jumbled up word scramble. Hmm, let's see, it's in Palmyra. I found out I'm dyslexic as soon as I had to leave for a trip. It was amazing, <laughs> but no. Then I look it up, and then I, I actually, it was in Palmyra, Pennsylvania. Not New Jersey, which was two hours away, which is actually farther than Maryland. <laughs> So it was a roller coaster of like, wow, I'm not going to be able to hang out with you guys tonight. I have a show. Oh, I can't. No, I can't. 
And then I finally. It sounds like you're like making excuses about your girlfriend who never shows up. Dude, I felt I felt weird about it because I was like, you know what? I don't know where I got Maryland from. I think <laughs> I wanted to go to Maryland. <laughs> really craving crabs lately. No message oh, mentioned love Maryland. The wire. <laughs> and so I get in the car and I drive two hours to the location I'm hosting. You got to do 15 minutes clean. I'm already like. And this. then host clean. Yeah. And I go, this is going to suck. But I get there, right? And he goes, where yet? I go, oh, I'm like two minutes away. He goes, show starts at 7.30. It's like 7.29. And I go, oh, I thought it started at 8. I definitely wouldn't have gotten here at start time. Like, that's my you bad. Big league. Though. Already. No, I already like I already feel like an idiot, right? And I get there, and the guy uh, starts talking to me. And you can tell there's a little something off with the way he's talking, but like I don't think anything of it. And uh, uh, he fucking, what's up? What's up, brother? What's up, Tim the Toolman Taylor? What are you doing? Taking my taking my shit in the middle of my story? Neil's always trying to don't lift me up. I'm a grown man. Wait, I was I'm a grown that. man. I was gonna use that. Internet. Oh. Internet. Oh, he's doing something for us. Oh, jeez. So he he hates us now. Well, I love Neil. I love you. He doesn't love me. Anyway, back to my awesome story. So <laughs> <laughs> you want to lose the footage again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Cut it out. <laughs> Fucking redacted. That's our new podcast, dude. But, about uh, to sharpie these fucking monitors. Do you ever? I don't know. You ever like hear someone talk weird, and you're like, I don't know what this guy's problem is, but whatever. Like it's not my business. Yeah. And then yeah. you found out, dude, he was he's been deaf since he was like till he was 40 years old, and then got his hearing. Holy shit! Like he just woke up and with then it? became a comedian. No, he got like the, like the implants. Oh, okay, that makes way more sense. Yeah, that. <laughs> but imagine not like hearing or ha- talking for 40 years and being like, I think I'm gonna be a comedian. I think that's the route I'm going to go right now. I, I mean, that must have been the first sound he heard, right? He, like, fell asleep during, like, a fucking, Eddie like, Murphy thing. <laughs> He's like, oh, well, wait, I'm allowed to judge those people? His, his first word was faggot. <laughs> He's like, this guy's into it. He's from uh, New England, so it does make sense. But, uh, so fucking, he, get, he goes, uh... Oh, we're online, baby. Colin Farrell oh, proves fuck it. Fuck Colin Farrell. We'll get him later. I'll, su- I'll suck my dick later. Um, what? No, sorry. <laughs> It's the coffee. It get, it's acid reflex. Yeah. Yeah. I, my gag reflex is gone. So, uh. Um, no, you just really didn't like it. It's co- such a bummer to see GoDaddy as one of the top things. Because <laughs> it could just be such a porn site. Dude, they had Danica Patrick. She's hot, right? No, she's not. Um. But, dude, so I get to the fucking show and he goes, dude, if you want, you can do 15 minutes and you can just fucking leave. Like, you don't have to stay for the whole show. And I go, oh, that's awesome. Like, that's cool. Not hosting. Because, yeah, no, it's not. But the other two guys were both doing like an hour. And I was like, oh, thank God. I don't want to have to say that shit. Like, I'm so happy to leave. Two clean hours? No. 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 I got there. What? I was told I had to be clean. The guy gets up there to introduce me. So basically, he hosted. But he got he basically came and introduced me, and he just goes, uh, uh, now listen, I don't want none of that fucking funny business. And I was like, I literally, I literally went like this. Like, put my hands like, what the <laughs> fuck was that? What the fuck was that? I thought I had to do. Why did I? I, I was told I got a list. I got no, a list. Dude. It was the number one thing on the list. No F word. Said it before I got up there. I did 15 minutes of clean material. That guy goes back up there to do his 45 minutes. Dirty as shit. <laughs> Dirty as shit. And there was like, there was like, I'm not even exaggerating, dude, like 250 you- people there. And I was like, why did I have to be the lame fucking first comedian? Dude, they brought you as the fucking virgin sacrifice. Yeah. Dude, he was he was being completely literal. He goes, I don't want a fucking funny business. You're not here to be funny, <laughs> Yo, okay? Dude. You're here to be a fucking dweeb. Yo, they, you probably like bullied this dude at some point in your life, dude. I guarantee dude, 40, you. Like, you like five. took his Yeah, you like took his parking spot in, in fucking Maryland at one point. He Maryland, fucking, dude, he fucking dude, told you Maryland. Maryland. Dude, that's why you're thinking Maryland though dude you fucking fuck this dude over in baltimore and he was like fucking revenge dude that's what that's what i'm thinking though i was so uh uh i realized i got back in my car and i just go i drove two hours to be at one location for 36 minutes and then i turned around and i drove two hours home and that was my night and pat's like that would really piss me off i go Eh, I look at it as that I made seventy five dollars in fifteen minutes. That's the way I look at it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you didn't, but I understand. I mean, if, if like, <laughs> I was gonna say, dude, if that was like a booty call, wasn't my like, easy pass. I didn't pay for tolls either. <laughs> it was a fucking good trip for me. I, you know what I mean. I got out of it pretty good. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you're a booty, call, if it's for a booty call, you would you would probably make the drive. You know, like not, not saying. Whoa, whoa, dude, whoa, whoa, flagged. Actually, the camera doesn't go there. You didn't have to do that. No, but. I needed to because you were gonna spill all over the equipment, and Neil would have been mad at us. That's true. Um, yo, wait, I forgot to tell you. Fuck. Uh, 
Is it urgent? Yeah, kind of. Uh, my roommate's mom hired a private investigator. <laughs> For who? <laughs> For her. But he's been following me, dude. For you? All yeah. you? Why? <laughs> because I live there, I guess. I don't know. He just fucking follows me. He might be here. He might be outside right now. Why? Because she's fucking crazy. Oh, she's dude, fucking you gotta insane, get out of there. dude. You gotta get out of there. Dude, this is what does Soph say? She's just like, hey, like I don't want to freak you out, but uh, my mom may have hired a private investigator to keep an eye on us. And I just immediately put my coat on and just started checking cars on the block. I don't know. I don't need that stress in my life. Dude, what the fuck? If they are here, can we... Say hi to them after the show. That would be so fucking dope. Do you want me to, do you want me to show them my you're belt gonna, to intimidate them? I'll I, fucking I get would, them out of here. Dude, I'm, I'm afraid they're going to find out too much. About what? I don't know. Hey, this kid uh, goes to a lot of open mic comedy, and they're going to go, yeah, he seems sad yeah, enough. Yeah, he's really alone. lame. Yeah, yeah. Right. Alone. That's honestly what I'm most afraid of. I'm afraid that they, they get the docket, and the file is just like fucking loser. Like, like You know what danger was just, my middle name? It's loser. It's, it's like fucking, you ever play Grand Theft Auto? You know how you can get stats on like pedestrians killed, cars stolen, stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. I just don't want to see my GTA stats, and they're fucking lame as shit. Just like fucking... Like, literally sat in the basement for four hours and smoked weed. Then went to an open mic at midnight, two seconds down the street, ate shit for five minutes, gave Jesse uh, Pedraza fucking three notes, and then went home and smoked weed for four more hours. Like, dude, you basically are like that, uh, the Rick and Morty game at Blips and Chips, where he's like, oh, dude, when you went back to the carpet store, what a waste your life. <laughs> dude, oh, dude, open mic comedy, and then you were fucking out here giving notes and smoking weed? What a fucking loser, dude. Dude, oh, man, it was so uncomfortable. Uh, I, I fucking love that mic, uh, but sometimes I get a little bit too high. Oh uh, mi- so it's a uh, midnight mic at uh, Two Street Bar. It's usually on Wednesdays, uh, almost every Wednesday, but sometimes they run the punchline uh, callback comedy, mm-hmm. John. Mm-hmm. So then they just take off for that. Uh, it's actually sick. Go check it out if you're in the area and you're listening. Uh, Wednesdays, yeah, totally. Two just Street. Go check it out. If you're um, listening. But like, <laughs> I live two seconds away, so I just walk over hammered all the time because I'm like... This is fucking so convenient. And then I look around and I'm like, oh, wait, no, people have to see me like this. Like, this is fucking terrible. Like, imagine if, like, you worked right next to your house. And so you're like, oh, fuck yeah, I can get drunk all day and then go to work. No, it's like you still have to see those people. And yeah, no, like a piece 100%. Of shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So would you look like a piece of shit? Kind of all the time. Is it because your, you're up all night because that private investigator is just fucking stalking you, dude? I. You got a stalker, dude. I think it's Can you cool. call, like,. Can you put a restraining order on a private investigator? I want to hire a second private investigator. Yes, to, to investigate, investigate him. him. And then we find out that his wife left him. So we hook him up on a date. He forgives us. And it's, then he lets you continue to murder people. And I think that's super good. me. Ooh, you're not pretty enough. Uh, that's true. Let's be real. The private investigator, I saw him. I'd let him take me for a whirl. You think so? Yeah, I'd let him take me you for a spin. You let him snoop around, dude? Yeah, listen, nothing wrong with a test drive. Let him drive. search for clues? Nothing wrong with a test drive, you find, know? Find the clue spot, baby? Dude, that's what it is. Just show my glove box. You know what I'm saying? Is that an investigator term? Yeah, yeah, it's really good. <laughs> it's a, fucking it's a car box. term. It's the glove box. I love it. All the important documents in any case are in the glove box. We all know that. Uh, could, could you imagine uh, your mom wants to know something about you? And she hires a private investor. Well, you have cameras all over your house. You live in fucking. Well, I mean, I, you grew up in the like fucking that. camps, dude. It's not like that. It's more of like my parents got a security system. Eventually, yeah, they, a they security cameras. system that's only pointed at you. Yeah, I the know. cameras weren't outside. There were cameras outside, actually, but it did feel like they got it for me because they were like, "We don't want you to have to throw parties." And I was like, "Ah, I feel like I feel like ah, you waited fucking. This is my kryptonite, dude." Can't lie. <laughs> I would walk around every camera and I would just flip them off. I'd be like, fuck you to every single camera. You think it was so you couldn't throw parties. They just wanted to see if you were a loser or not. They're like, wow. Why won't really Jeff throw any fucking parties? doesn't throw parties. This kid is, God. I just never cleaned it's up It's your egg. It's not my sperm. It's your egg. It's not my sperm. Hey, listen. My sperm parties, dude. Somebody told me that male sperm is faster than, than female what? sperm. <laughs> That's what somebody told me. Than female sperm? That's what somebody told me. That doesn't make sense, I know. Jeff. I know. It was weird. They were like, well, you know, like a sperm that'll become women. Do you know that male penises are longer than female penises? (laughs) Hey, that's true. Fucking Snapple (laughs) facts. Hey, that's true. The Snapple facts that are so obvious, like the (laughs) Daniel Tosh bit. Right? Is that Daniel Tosh? I think so. He's like, babies are not dishwasher safe. (laughs) And you're like, oh, good. Like, somebody was going to be like, oh. (gasps) 
Oh, well, you, well, you can't bathe it yourself. <laughs> uh, uh, what were you just saying again? Probably something stupid about how I have an investigator over me, but nothing to hide. That's what's getting me real self-conscious, honestly. Like, I feel like I need to start doing something. He starts fluffing himself in the shower. He's like, just in case he's looking. Just in case he's looking. Never know, baby. You never know. Hey, I don't want to get Hey, Listen, he might have a, you know, a camera. Might oh. be showing. Might have a lady friend. Well, you can never be too safe. I got fucking go go gadget out here trying to put me on blast. Can you imagine being a private investigator and you got to follow a guy like dude? If I had to follow a guy like you, I'd be like, they'd be like, what's a report? I'd be like, fucking nothing. I don't know. I think he just made pizza rolls. I have no idea. I think he's selling weed, but he just looks like that. Should we arrest Space. him? I don't even think so. That's not even why I'm here. That's not even why I'm here. <laughs> you just sell him out? No, I don't. I have no. I have no interest. I'm just here to see if he's doing anything weird. I I, I hang out with weird people, but I don't do weird things. Can you imagine being a mom and giving a house to your daughter, and then being like? What are you doing in that house? And it's like, you're the mom. Check it out. No, dead ass, though. Check it out. It's your house. Like, your name. You obviously just gave a, a, your child a house. You trust them a little bit. But you don't get to decide at that point. Like, you know, like, I feel like just giving your kid shit, like, that's just being a bad Let's mom. say you won the lottery tomorrow, right? Who are you giving a house to? Let's say it's $500 million. Ain't no thing. Houses ain't no thing. You got you get to give out houses to, like, your mom. You know what I mean? Yeah. You give well, her a house. Who are you giving houses to? You giving me a house? Like, are no. we that close? Dude, I'm not getting a house. Five hundred million? You have five hundred million dollars. You can't buy me a house. I'm getting one five hundred million dollar house. Well, what if I? All right, what if I asked you to buy me an apartment in New York City? I'll buy accounts at as, as much as a house. That way, I could go there for comedy uh, and just chill the night. All right, L.A. Know. L.A.? L.A., and you got to pay for all my flights. I want to buy you somewhere real shitty. No. Oh. I want to put you right in the middle of the country. You buy me the Collingswood apartment complex. No, dude, I'm putting there. you right back in the murder room, dude. I'm putting you right back in the murder house. There was a fire there the other day. What? Second floor caught on fire. Someone's probably trying to cleanse the spirits out, dude. The They're like, there's too many demons in this house. Fucking burn it down. Fucking. It was a ritual, dude. It was a satan satanic exercise. <laughs> yeah, Britt told me there was a fucking fire on the second floor and like, it was one of those, I was like, that's scary because I know during the fire drills, nobody left their apartment. <laughs> nobody. Nobody. We wouldn't have left. No, we wouldn't have. We wouldn't have left. So thank God they, you know. Take, for, take a while for the fire to get up there anyway. I don't know, man. That's scary. That place sucks. I still have my car in the I parking lot. <laughs> it, why? 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 Because my old one. Oh, okay. I gotta go get Did it. Did you ever eventually. turn in the key and stuff like that that you had to handle? Ah, nah. No. That could affect me? Huh? That could affect me? Huh? That could affect me? I don't have a key. I called them. What did they say? Huh? I called. I left several messages with my number. I told them, like, I don't have the key. The key was left with this person. You have the documentation. I can't give you the key. What do you want me to sign? Send it over. And they ever reached me. All right. Good enough to me. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm a lawyer, so. Are you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been uh, doing a lot this I week. Shadow. I shadow. Like, uh, I feel like we're not, like, grooving right now. What's wrong, dude? You feeling okay? I don't know. Maybe it's the private investigator thing. Maybe I don't know who to trust. I anymore. think you're feeling. Yeah. What's up, dude? We be grooving. Uh, <laughs> what's your problem? I uh, I start saying facts about him that I shouldn't know. Yeah, dude. I'm like, dude, what about it, dude? Let's just go to Krispy Kreme like you went on Tuesday. What the fuck? What? No, I don't know. You're like, what? Nobody knows about my donut allergy. <laughs> what I did do Tuesday, dude? I fucking saw Earth Gang. Super uncomfortable because this dude tried to jump me. Uh, so then I had to go stand in the back. <laughs> Somebody tried to jump you, so you had to go sit in the corner with your mom? No, my mom didn't oh, come. Sorry, the, she was backstage in the green room, if anything. <laughs> that's just the detail I added. Fucking the talent? Dude, it was so fucking weird. Oh, my God. It was like, blow by that. Huh? What? Dude, they brought all, all these people on stage to dance, and there was like a bunch of uh, ethnic people who were great dancers, and they brought up this white dude and this white chick, and the white guy literally hopped around on one foot in a circle. And he did a Fortnite dance. <laughs> he did a Fortnite dance on the fucking stage at a rap concert. <laughs> he started to get booed, and they had to be like, yo, man, why don't you come fucking sit over here? Anybody, if I see a grown man try to floss, I go, you're trying to be too close to children. Knock it off. Yeah, nope. Knock it off. Stop it. I know what your YouTube history is. Dude, you looks know like. I've been watching a lot of lately. You know, I've been just getting like real fucking into. What are you what are you doing hitting over there? Did you say something funny that I missed? I just threw this down. Oh, don't will you sh Ev, shut up. I thought Rusty said something funny and now he didn't, so now he no, looks like an idiot. All. I thought you were talking about Now he happened. looks like an idiot on Oh, sorry about that, dude. I <sighs> anyway, so I've been watching Back to the Champion. Back I was uh, watching a lot of live P D cops. Yeah? Love cops. Love Live PD. Here's what I didn't know about Live PD. I thought it was going to be like a lamer version of Cops, but they actually show you way more intense things. Like, they were so casual. There was... Somebody died. Somebody died on the fucking episode. Like, 
there was a car and it went on like a no, like a one way highway and it got fucking ran off of the road. Jesus. And you see the car and it's just smashed and like almost in half. And the other truck that's sitting up there is on fire. But you know those people are out. And they're like, yeah, apparently, like, a car got hit off the road over here. And this, like, fucking Kansas cop comes over, and he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, he looks like a goner in that one. Yeah, he's gone. Uh, you know, it sucks when there's a deceased citizen here, but, uh, and you go, what the fuck are you talking about? Wait, so he's dead? And the guy's like, you know, it's a real tough day, days like this. <laughs> Did they finally get like real cops, or do they still use like Simpsons cops? No, like, dude, they got real cops. One, one, dude, I'll tell you right now, they always check in on the same locations, right? Like they have the, the dude, Ma Rhode Island in New England, those cops, or the Massachusetts one, dude, they're always the douchiest fucking cops. What, what, what kind of crimes are being committed in Rhode Island? Dude, and they have, like, uniforms. Yo, I love the, the different uniforms where you're like, where are you that you need to dress like a park ranger? Where this guy looks like a fucking mall cop, while this guy over here looks like a SWAT officer. Like, they're always dressed in different things. I, I want to meet the cop who's super passionate about, like, his department's uniform. Oh, I like, saw a dude in Ohio. He was way too aggressive. I watched it, and I was like, that's too aggressive of a cop. He was looking for a fight the whole time. I could tell by the body language. This guy, but in fairness, the guy was like, I don't have anything in the car. And the cop was like, oh, really? You ain't got nothing in the car, bro? And I was like, you're being way too aggressive. But then he found out that there was an AK-47 in there. Oh, so, that's... You know, he, I mean, he did his job. I... And then he wrestled the guy to the ground, and he was fucking... But the guy was talking <gasps> shit to his face. He was like, you a fake-ass cop, bro. You a fake-ass bitch. Dude, you I like fake ass. And he was just, and then he fucking headlocked him, put him to the ground. And I was like, dude, yeah, why would you yell at this big cop? I like this meathead psychic cop who's just like fucking AK-47 in the trunk. He's like, what the fuck you got? And dude, he felt betrayed. You could tell he's like, what the hell is this? <laughs> you said there was nothing in the car. Like, he felt like he's like, dude, we had an honest connection. Like he just got out of a relationship where his girlfriend was lying about this AK-47 yeah, in the dude. trunk. <laughs> Jessica! It's like, I didn't know it was in there. You're like, the AK-47? <laughs> How did that sneak in? Dude, like, my favorite Wait, was... Wait, was he wearing a shark onesie? Is no, that a real that's thing? Not who, that's not who I saw, but I like that. I saw the best fucking... I don't even know if I want to call it an arrest. I saw a guy get pulled over... I love this shit. ...on the highway the other day, and the cop gets out of the car uh, to write him a ticket, and I swear to God, 80 miles an hour, the Subaru just smashes into the back of the cop car. Oh, my God. Uh, we were fucking going the other way. I wanted to pull over and, be, and fucking watch what happened, because, like, at that point, you got to let... The person who is speeding go yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, or, yeah. or you like, hang on, no crime too small. You don't stay over move, there. Don't move. Don't move. <laughs> and Jacob doesn't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, dude, I fucking my favorite is how much they try to really show you, um, how much honesty will get you far with the cops. Every moment they're always like, hey, listen, brother, hey, buddy, just chill out. Be honest with me. Honestly, you'll go wrong way, right? And they're always just trying to... But usually they all fucking lie. Yeah. But the one guy they got, he was like, hey, man, uh, what's going on? You don't have uh, your, your license? He goes, not nah, suspended. And he goes, all right, well, uh, you want to hop out of the car for me for a second? Just, like, take a seat over there. I can run your your information or whatever. And he's like, yeah, no problem. And he's like, so what are you doing today? He goes, well, I actually was hanging out with my friends, and we were doing, like, a lot of drugs. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, we were driving with it in the car as well for a while, but then we got it out of the car. Nah, dude, and, this uh, is, that's a fucking plant. This is a bad <laughs> dare sketch. <laughs> this is just like, all right, kids, we're going to enact uh, how you're supposed to handle a situation with yeah. a cop. Now, always tell the truth. Yeah, always tell the truth, dude. Started when I was six, officer... Uh, Oh, it turns out I was doing a lot of drugs, and my mom made fun of me because she said I was a lame kid. <laughs> I hope I hope you kids aren't like that. Looks in the camera, uh, breaks the fourth smiles, wall. The cop's just like, eh. <laughs> he was so honest, though, that the cop was, like, laughing. Like, he's like, dude, you're, like, the most honest person I've ever pulled over. And he's like, yeah, well, listen, man, like, you got to be honest with the cops, man. I remember last year I lied when I got into a fight, and I, uh, I, I sent a guy in the hospital. And the guy's like... Yeah, you don't have to keep talking about all this other information. <laughs> like, he was like, yeah, and I'm also wanted. I got a couple, like, warrants and stuff. But you you probably find that out, right? Dude, he was so, like... Dude, this guy sounds like a great first date. And honestly. guess what? He, he was sounds let, so forthcoming. He was let go with, like, the smallest of tickets. They were like, yeah, we'll fucking get out of here. Dude, I mean, I, I think that it's not even that telling the truth is what gets it. I think that guy would, I just was super charismatic, right? Yeah. Like... I think so. I, how else do you get away with just like 
like making a cop who's on TV, who's supposed to be doing his fucking job, just be like, honestly, you remind me of myself, kid. Like, yeah. get the fuck out of here. Well, I feel like they're definitely nicer on camera. You know what I mean? It definitely feels that way. But I also like how every single person they pull over for a DUI, every time they try to do the straight line walk, they're always like, <laughs> they they get in the position to do it, and before they start, they're always like, I don't even know why I got to do this. It's so stupid. I can't even do it. I'm sober. <laughs> and the cop's like, I can do it right now. And he's like, dude, nobody can even do this. This is hard. It's so hard to do this. So dumb. You always make me do this. <laughs> they all turn into like 17-year-old boys talking to their mom. Mom, oh, dude, I don't even like walking in a straight line. Stupid. Those are my friends. I, I love that like they, I mean, there must be a ton of kids who want to be cops because of, like, cops, right? Yes. I yes. love that they have to, like, be selective with their branding in that sense. Do you know what happens to the cops that don't make the cut? Like, the cops that didn't make it to the academy? They become the cameramen for the cops. <laughs> They're like, we need someone athletic, but we don't know someone too athletic. You passed the physical test, but God, you did not handle that. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, why don't you trade in the gun and pick up this camera, and we'll see what you can shoot with that. Yeah, you seem to really be trigger happy. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking just a terrible shot. I always see that, like the episode of Live PD, where they're like, you know, because it's live, they cut to like a stream and somebody gets shot. And they're like, oh, okay, all right, well, uh, whoops, sorry about that. Oh, a little wait, technical dip. Hang on, I thought that was just a cool name. The show is live. No, I don't think so. That there's no. You way. know what? You know, I will say this. You know what it says a lot in the corner earlier today. A lot of it's that. <laughs> it says live PD, but it's a lot of like. But earlier today, we once we clip this all together, we got a pretty good clip for you. <laughs> they just have some fucking actors on standby, ready yeah. to fucking. I That's also fucking sick. I also love the amount of women on the show that are drunk and just have the confidence, the confidence to fucking not listen to a police officer is astounding to me. The amount. It's always a drunk bitch who's definitely like from the suburbs and she's always like, "What? No, get the fuck out of here." And they're like, "Ma'am, please put your arms like your hands behind your back." And she's like, "No. Get out of here. Still holding her beer. Doesn't spill a yep. drop. Hasn't spilled a drop." Get in this car. I don't want to get in this car. It's too tight. All right, well, here we got an SUV coming up here. What? No, there's the glass, the divider. Bitch, what, what are you, what are you, what, what, it's not an Uber. Drunk bitches just, like, point out things. Yeah. And, and they fucking move on. At that fucking Earth Gang show, first off, 90% of the crowd was white. Always. There, there was Always. A good, there was a good amount of, of black people there, but, like, 90% was white. I don't see color. And this, this fucking white chick we were hanging out with, she's like, Oh my god, they will not let me into the crowd. This is like reverse racism. I was just like, oh man. You know what you do in that situation? You know, I know you suplex her and then you put your fist up in glory. <laughs> <laughs> you guys see that? You see me take this bitch out? I'm whatever team needs me. Uh, I'd like to offer this up for the culture. It's a sacrifice. Uh, I'm not saying I'm a part of it. I said it, I said it last year. But the culture year, wants this. I said it last year. Culture is going to be the most overused word of the year and... I, did, I agree. I agree. Culture is a sick word. If we're talking about like... Yeah, yeah. No, you want to sum up everything. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's about the culture. You're like, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really good. I guess that works for everything. Everything has a fucking culture, though. It's just people try to use it in a way... Like, people try to give that word more meaning than it actually has. This would be the year you would be most likely to see somebody wearing a shirt that just straight up said culture. Yeah. For, like, that is... This would be the year. <laughs> well, because, like, I think as time goes on, it's like... Can't really claim which culture, you know what I mean? You just gotta be culture. 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 What do you know about culture? Work culture. I'll tell you right now. White collar, white collar <laughs> America. I'll tell you right now. I love working in the office. You say, you say horticulture? Culture. Culture shirt. That's a stupid fucking culture shirt. What a dumb, stupid. Make it bigger. Why is it so little? That's a stupid shirt. Not you, Evan. The designers. Yeah. No, not you, Ev. You're beautiful. You know that. I, you know uh, how beautiful you are. My my favorite culture of the year. I was talking about this at the mic last night. Uh, has been. Porn culture and, and the grand shift. I think porn culture is my least favorite culture. I think it's so funny, dude. The shift towards, like, because there's been all the traditional fucking, like, sexy, like, normal kinks of, like, teachers and, like, there was the fucking fitness phase and, like, the step siblings one has, like, I know it's been a thing for a while. Skyrocketed. But it's fucking dug its fucking I Game ancestral of roots. I blame Game of Thrones. You think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, a lot of TV shows have modernized incest. It's real weird. <laughs> it's real weird. Every holiday, I get excited to see how they're going to incorporate like stepsister shit into it. 
Like, Every holiday, you're like, dude, Valentine's Day, somebody got stood up. Uh oh, <laughs> Sarah's home. You have like a name, dude. Fuck Valentine's Day. They hit that whole Black History Month. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can't fuck you. You're my sister. Uh, yeah, but I'm month. doing it for the culture. Do you think the porn stars just fucking have February circled on their calendar and they're like, <sighs> it's February. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be a long, long month. Just a real tough one. And you're like, why? You don't want to do it? No, I never said that. I never said that. No, I would love to do it. I'd love to. No, it'd be my, I'd love to do my part. I'd love to do my part. It's a busy season at work. <laughs> dude, you know they just have February circle on the calendar where it's just a fucking bummer, dude. It's like, what am I doing this week, stepsister? What am I doing next week? <sighs> Yikes. <laughs> uh, have you ever seen the movie Django Unchained? Oh, God. It is a remake. Poor George is... are like, can you please shave a day or two off the month? I know <laughs> that it's already shortest. But... You said I have Sundays off. Hey, we're paying you $87 an hour overtime. Jesus Christ. It's worth it. <laughs> uh, I, my favorite ever was probably uh, November for No Fap November. God damn, dude. Really? Dude, uh, why are you wearing that? You know I can't jerk off. It's no fat oh, November. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, but it's not no fuck your sister November. Oh. <laughs> they bang. Ooh, April Fool's Day? That was a classic, dude. Oh, a lot of rape. A lot dude, of rape on that no, day. Well, well, God, yeah, God. <laughs> now that you mention it, dude, I swear Whoops. to God. I swear to God. I wasn't even jer like jerk. Like, I put my, like, my, like, I went soft to put my dick away, dude. I'm watching this porno. It wasn't away, what you were saying. Huh? It just was soft and dude, still there. It was all storyline. <laughs> there was, like, barely any sex. Because, like, the dude was just like, I got this itch on my leg. Could you, like, help me scratch it? And it's, like, his dick. And she's, like, jerking it off. And then he pulls the blanket away. He's like, ha, it was my dick. <laughs> Okay, so Whoops. she's like, so she goes into his room. She's like, I'm gonna get my brother back. He's gonna think I'm his girlfriend. And she lays down on his bed and pulls a blanket over her. So it's just her ass hanging off the bed. He literally walks in and goes, Oops, forgot my girlfriend was here today. Uh, and she starts uh, fucking her. <laughs> she pulls off the blanket and goes, Whoops. April Fools, you fucked your sister, you gross fuck. That's S the video. Fuck. It just ends. Oh my god, you're fucking. You're post come like clarity in your head and then do they call you a gross fuck and you're like oh man they they even turned on me in the video <laughs> dude he didn't even come oh. he's just fucking his sister and she's like ha ha and then it, the video ends oh, and it man. goes april fools if you're gonna fuck your sister i mean you at least got no <laughs> <laughs> now i think a better stepsister april fools would be that like their parents get married while they're fucking like, okay. like you're fucking this chick, and then your parents bust in on you, and they're like, guess who I just met and married right now? Ooh, it's Meet your sister. Kind. And then you're like, ugh. It was a regular porn, and then we got we got <laughs> bumped into this category at the end. Yo, dude, I mean, I think a lot of people click off the step-sibling shit at the beginning, but if you snuck it in there, like, you slowly turned up that you know sibling I heat. I would love to get uh, a, lot of, a lot of people comedically want to get hired, you know, to write for TV shows in SNL. I would love to get hired to be, like, an SNL sketch writer, but for porn. Where we Ooh. actually just write the really stupid, like, intro parts where we know we're like, dude, nobody pays attention to this stuff and it's skipped. But if it isn't skipped, a couple people are going to get some chuckles. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, really write some dumb. One of my just favorite ones was, uh, uh, it's a pretty, I saw it on, like, Instagram. Like, they always show this clip. And it's just uh, one of the porn stars in a big master bathroom and the kid's in a big tub, and she's just in a lifeguard outfit, and she's like, uh-oh, is someone drowning? And he just goes, what? We're not at the beach. <laughs> and then it's, and then she's just like, let's fuck, and that's it. And you're like, the greatest acting and writing in porn history, and she's like, this isn't the beach, <laughs> and she's like, whatever. <laughs> I'm the dick inspector here to inspect <laughs> your dick. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude, uh, uh, the other guys just hit Netflix, and you said you haven't seen it. I have right? not seen it. Just hit Netflix. Watched the other day. It is so money. Still? Oh, it holds dude. up for you? Uh, for me. You love Will Ferrell, though. I don't love Will Ferrell. I really enjoy Will Ferrell. But it's just, dude, like, here's the thing. He makes scenes great because Mark Wahlberg plays, like, typical, like, I'm fucking the angry cop, dude. But Will Ferrell plays the square. This and is a good one. The square is great. You've seen this, right? I love. Uh, this is like I'm not a comedy guy, and we've talked about this before. I love this movie. This is one of my. This is one even, of my comedy movies. E even as I don't just know, it's his funny, dumb... but I love this movie. Fuck you, Evan. <laughs> <laughs> I 
hey, listen, I do enjoy the story. Uh, no, I'm I'm just saying I'm not a I'm not into comedies and stuff. So for for something to you know grab my attention, that's you know. No, for me I feel you. I, I've wanted to watch this movie. I just I don't care to like Google shit. Like no, I just no, no, want to no, Netflix. It's on Netflix it now. It's on right Netflix there, now. Baby. It's beautiful. It's like literally uh, <laughs> just the. Just every little line, like the, it's the quotability, it's the dialogue. It's just so stupid. It's I, just so. I feel like I need to watch good. these movies just to fit in with you and your friends. You guys treat that shit like fucking passcodes. Yeah, we do. We just literally quote shit, and if you don't get it, fucking see you later, dude. You fell behind. I just want to fit in. You're not. You're not in the group anymore. <laughs> you're kicked out if you don't know what movie we're talking about. But no, I love. Listen, it's great too because. Mark Wahlberg just plays like a typical Mark Wahlberg role where he's like, I'm actually saving this whole fucking movie right now. Whatever thing's going on, I'm actually the hero. And Will Ferrell's just there to be a fucking, like, just a burden on the whole thing. Mark Wahlberg's like, look out, it's Colombian drugs lords. And he's like, where are you getting this? Like, there's nothing like that just happened. This dude just got off a motorcycle. Is it Mark Wahlberg in a Will Ferrell movie or is it Will Ferrell in a Mark Wahlberg movie? It's Mark Wahlberg in a Will Ferrell movie. Like one of my love it. One of my favorite bits that Will Ferrell does in the movie is he keeps calling. Uh, it's uh, Michael Keaton. He keeps calling the captain uh, by his name. Like he'll be like, oh, "I'm so sorry about that, Gene." And he goes, "It's it's Captain. Okay, it's just Captain." And later on, I'll be like, "Yeah, listen." And again, I'm sorry about that. I'll, I'll try to make sure it doesn't happen again, Captain Gene. It's ca- it's just Captain. <laughs> it's just Captain. And then at one point, a superior officer comes in and he starts talking to Cat, the captain. And he's like, uh, uh, like his boss basically. And he's like, <laughs> now Gene. And Wolfram's like, he actually prefers to be called Captain. So we're all aware. And it just makes everything like. Sounds funny. Cringe. All right. Well, it's like cringe comedy. It's like The Office. Is The Office laugh out loud funny? No. no but it's like, oh, it's uncomfortable. And I like it. I, I like the idea of Mark Wahlberg just being like the serious character in a comedy movie. I fucking like, you're talking about writing porn sketches, like fucking. Put one super serious porn star in and everyone else goofy. Right now, if I told you we had to write a porn sketch, what's the theme? Go. Uh, Safari. Okay. Now, what's the uh, category? Uh, It can't be stepsister. What are you guys doing? A stepsister safari? That's super weird. (laughs) You got to think about it. You already picked what it is. It's safari. What are we doing? Help me, big brother. There's a lion. Oh, no. (laughs) Brother cub, I'll, I'll kill that lion. But you're gonna have oh, to they're sons dressed. Me first. They're dressed like animals. <laughs> oh no, brother cat! And you're like, what the fuck is Thundercats? <laughs> Thundercats in the safari, but stepsister. <laughs> oh no, a poacher! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Look at that big elephant trunk, and you don't see anything. You're just like, what is it? Oh, it's taking up the whole screen. Dude, I fucking I. What? I, I don't so even know what porn category. Kind porn of categories. Categories. Yeah, I, that was really that was a, you were the bold choice. He's like, I'll tell you right now, <laughs> growing up, the wild thornberries <laughs> really got me going. I always want to know what the other half of that bitch's face looked oh, like. Oh, you know, <laughs> Nigel had a way with that fucking <laughs> that nose. I was like, damn girl, what's that other half like? Symmetry. What's that other half like? Like she's a fucking centaur. <laughs> that's that's how I look at girls. I'm like, damn, what's the other half look like? <laughs> you mirrored down there? You fucking parallel? You got a second Safari. face? Safari. Just outrunning, like, cats. Just outrunning fucking jungle cats. <gasps> well, I just think that it's really funny. Fucking when- in the car, but on the window, you see lions, like, jumping up and, like, hitting the fucking thing. I, I don't know. I was picturing some big game hunt shit. You know what I mean? I could write a funny sketch for a safari. It'd have to do with Cecil the Lion. <laughs> <laughs> It had to do with Cecil the Lion, for sure. You can get that license? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be a sympathy thing, because he'd be like, I didn't even mean to kill that lion. And then, and then he's like, it's okay. And then she fucks him. <laughs> it's a vegetarian stepbrother, and the stepsister <laughs> needs him to fucking kill the lion. And she's just... <laughs> she's like, wow, you really murdered me. And you're like, oh, no. All right, it's a survival one, right? They got to kill an animal to eat. He doesn't, he doesn't eat meat, though. So she's like, well, you eat my pussy, then... Boom, nailed it. Kills a giraffe, carves out the inside. They burrow in it. They live in it for a <laughs> night. They make sweet love by the fire. All right? <laughs> the next day, he carves up the giraffe fur, makes a coat for her. They're now lovers. They go on to, to, to a magical quest where they actually kill a man but take all his fortune. They live happily ever after. To, to a short art film. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> porn. like, have this whole backstory of this woman's whole, like, bad relationship before the porn video starts. Like, she's fucking, she lost everything. Her husband took the kids, and she's just, like, crying to herself. She orders a pizza. You know what I mean? Doorbell rings. Guy shows up. He's like, hey there. And she starts going to town <laughs> on that fatty sausage. 
that fat Tony cannoli. You know what I mean? Dude, I just I love how uh, porn will really give you the level of confidence that a girl in a scenario just wants to fuck you. And very rare is that the case. Very rare is it like, wow, right now, like a heat-seeking missile, I wish to fuck you. But we just think that's how girls think. We're like, I think she's digging me right now. She probably wants to fuck me right here, right now. Absolutely, dude. It's just so, it's a real fucked up mental. Dude, like, if a girl thinks that I was funny at a show, I'm like, I have a girlfriend, don't even think about it. I don't even, and she's like, probably like, oh no, dude, I thought, you had a good knock knock joke. I do not want to suck your dick, but I'm like these girls are Dude, crazy. I'm 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 guilty. Fucking Cody's ex complimented my jacket after show. Didn't know they were there on a date. I was like, Yo, Cody, I got to split, but that blonde chick's down to fuck. I'm like, hell yeah, dude. I did that once. My buddy, uh, my buddy worked at a bar. It was just and, a and pretty he, ugly jacket. In and, fairness. <laughs> <laughs> it's my Tyler the Creator. That's how, if anything, I'd be like, blue she fucking... definitely wants to fuck me. This is a terrible jacket. It had like a checkered like stripe on it, and, like flame patterns and shit. Dude, I hit on my, I hit on a, uh, I didn't really hit. It was more like I thought she was hitting on me, and I felt weird, and I was like, should I go for this right now? And then my buddy's like, I would not. And he's like, why not? And he's like, because that's totally like his girlfriend. I was like, oh, I did oh, not know that. Yeah, no. she should like stop talking to me like this. She definitely wants to fuck me. Should I go for this right now? I think you should stop calling her this. It I think a- that <laughs> that would be the best place to start. Should you go for her? Probably not. Not until you can respect her. You guys think I should tap this right now, or what's up? You talking about that keg? <laughs> nah, this chick. <laughs> I got a keg. You better uh, be talking about that xylophone. Son. I got a I got a fucking free keg in my kegerator, and I went to go get the CO2 to tap it, and I was answering the phone, and we just woke up in the morning, and my girl said, she literally said, uh, are you tapping it before or after? And I remember leaving the room going, after this phone call, I'm about to get it and i remember her being like are you fucking serious you thought i meant that and i was like what are you talking oh we have a keg wow it's just such a different change in my life usually that's not something you'd be talking about yeah but i got a free 300 dollars keg damn dude fucking oh, i just that's sick but i'm just too busy feeling disappointed for you like i remember like, being like because dude, like, this phone dude it's one thing if your girlfriend's like like sending the signals but like she says it like that like i'm fucking sprung dude you know what i mean it's like, happening before or after i was like the phone call clearly after <laughs> i already answered <laughs> Uh, I I made the grave mistake at my house. Uh, well, actually, it's probably not a mistake. It's probably for the best. We got a recliner chair, so we used to only have a couch, and now I can always tell when my girlfriend's mad at me based on where she sits. Okay. She's been sitting in the recliner a lot. It's a pretty uncomfortable recliner. It's like the ugly jacket. So that, she, she's mad at you? Huh? Maybe. What's wrong with you, dude? I don't know. She's going to leave you. We've talked about this. <laughs> I took her to... Uh, uh, the melting pot on uh we, we did like an early valentine's day oh the place where you have to be the chef too yeah she loves that shit girls love that shit I it's know. so annoying my girlfriend took me to a korean barbecue place and i'll tell you right now i was like i don't know how to like cook korean meat i have <laughs> no idea i have zero idea what it takes to cook this meat melting pot definitely predicted instagram being a thing they were like cheese chocolate and it takes cute pictures <laughs> and like bitches go f- when there was a table across from us i swear to god nine girls did not look up from their phones the entire time we were fucking dying oh, yeah, laughing like they were like handing each other shit without ever making eye contact i'm like it's just some kind of like secret fucking what's that show where the the dudes own the chicks fucking the dudes own the chicks yeah what's that show where the fucking ah uh, girls gone wild no oh, ah <laughs> shit it's really popular. Handmaiden's Tale. Fucking Christ. Handjob's Tale? I'm pretty I've sure never it's a saw it. Too, I don't know. Dude, I don't know. I just figure all the women just sit at the table and just be quiet, and that's Handmaiden's Tale. Handmaiden's Tale? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. What's that movie where the, where the guys Handmaiden sounds the like a step above Wench, right? It's like Wench, what? then Handmaiden. Handmaiden's Tale. My girlfriend tried to make me watch that, and immediately they were like, all right, religion abortion. And I was like, it's too much for me. I don't want to do this anymore. Religion abortion? Like, those are the first two topics addressed, I felt like. And oh, I was like, I'm okay. Out. I'm out. I don't this is this. a religion abortion. <laughs> Pray to God. Like, <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> I don't know. Just put the cross to the baby. You're like, the power of Christ compels you. It's still here. <laughs> <laughs> you start smacking the bitch with it. <laughs> oh man, that's so fucking good, dude. Oh, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, you watched. That. I felt like we were grooving when we started talking about porn, which I, I know. Was I weird. actually, I was hoping we keep like we say in this cheese it groove, and then maybe ask Evan to like cut the cast down to where it got good. Oh, hey, yeah, we're gonna cut that first, uh, uh, first half of the podcast. Is that cool? <laughs> yeah, it, you cut the first, first half, so you know. 
So it's now we get even. to cut the second half. God. It's really the third act is when we really fucking kick it into gear, dude. That's what I like to feel. We should start just like keeping the mics off the whole time, and then Evan can tell us that we put the podcast out. We'll share some screenshots. Just shots. when he knows, just when he's like, dude, actually, I'll wait for you guys to get funny for a second. How about <laughs> that? I'll wait for you to get funny. We burned 48 mi- minutes of material, and now you're ready to roll. Pump out an hour. Yeah, I know. Even right now, like, like, what do you got? What do you got? Me? Oh, just anything right now? Yeah. Oh, well, up? first of all, I'm pumped to do uh so I was going to run this. I already told you the idea, but Ev, we're doing, uh, for March, when we have guests on, we're just going to do uh, our episodes focused around, like, a different bracket every time. Do some, like, March Madness fucking shit, and we're, like, just narrowing the list down instead of doing, like, you know, basketball, which is, like, eh, whatever. Not everybody knows basketball. But I got a sick bracket do that you? I'm working on. I'm working I was hard doing the on Disney, it. I was doing the Disney Pixar one the other day. I was doing the Nickelodeon Cartoon Network fucking, I was doing all the brackets and breaking down what I got here. And I'll tell you right now, some people's answers would surprise you. So I feel like you get a guest on, you're like, this is clearly, what, are you kidding me? Frozen or Tangled? This is an easy choice. And all of a sudden, they pick the wrong choice. And you're like, what? I, I, I like how when you pitched this to me, you uh you made it sound really sports themed. Well I did because and I was like kinda like I wanted, to do, I wanted to do it. fucking sport I wanted to do uh, like college mascots as one bracket because let's be real, there's he, some bad ones and there's some good ones. He said for March Madness, I was thinking we could do bracket themed episodes with guests and I said, Well, I'm never gonna stifle your creativity, buddy. <laughs> yeah, no, dude, anything. You could literally do porn categories. You could do a bracket of porn categories and we could, actually, Ev, could you bring up the United States map? By porn searches, because I'll tell you right now, whenever you see these, it is amazing. It'll be like, Nebraska's really into Indian, and you're like, really? Talk about hoes in different area codes. Jesus Yeah, here Christ. we go. Most popular. Okay, that's not the Ebony list I saw. Is a character? That's not the list I saw. That's way too much lesbian. <laughs> that's so much lesbian. Well, lesbian, that's that like a Louisiana a purchase of lesbian. <laughs> like, like, I want to buy all this land. Most people who no, like. No, <laughs> this isn't it. Look up porn hubs. Look up porn hubs. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Lesbiana purchase. Ooh, I've typed in porn hub. I'm telling. <laughs> Neo, we need the internet. It's important for this episode. I just gotta, uh, let's try Google Images. I bet we can find. That one, though, was like 80% lesbian. <laughs> Dude, if you like pussy, you probably like two no. pussies. Yeah, like that one. Like that. Like that's a more. Here we go. Does that say lesbian am? Is that, that actually, an M? <laughs> this actually looks very like tame. I, I saw one where it was very aggressive. That says lesbian in the middle. All right, we can't trust this. What we're out. We're out. That? We're out what, on this what, one. Wait, that might be an illiterate. Yeah, state, no, no, no. Look at wait, look, look, back, bottom right of your current thing. How funny is the South? Just says black. Like, black. there's no way. That's <laughs> not even like these are so. Except Dakota over there with the twink fetish. Chill out, Dakotas. Dude, I've always said no, no. Wait, oh, go back, go back. Just click back on the arrow. Back on the arrow. On the, on the, like the back arrow. <laughs> oh, fuck where we lost it. I love this. There, on the right. On the right. Bottom right. Yes. That's the one I saw. This is the one I saw. This makes Viewed by women. This is hilarious. Solo female? Oh, it's viewed by women. By Small women. tits? Transgender killing it in Delaware. Absolutely murdering it. New Jersey Indian. Women love Indian in New Jersey. Wait, what state is that with all the VR porn? Where are you looking? Where are you looking? It's the blue West one. Virginia. West, West Virginia. Virginia. They're like, God, I hate being here. Fucking <laughs> clocking into the Matrix real fast. I mean, I could fuck my sister again, but what if I could fuck a real girl? Yo, is that... Uh, How what's... about Nebraska rocking a fucking tattooed women? <laughs> Tat feet. Feet. Check out Maine with the cum shots, dude. <laughs> they like a nice athletic performance. They want to see a fucking blaster. What state is it? Colorado? No. What's what's brunette? What fucking what? Ladies are looking up. I love brunette men. I love to look up brunette. <laughs> well, they're men. looking up women too. No, nah, they're not. Um, I don't think that there's a hair color category for men. Is there? I haven't seen that shit. What's up with Wisconsin? Small tits. What's your problem? Oh, well, don't you know? Oh, wait, that's Minnesota. Strip tease, small small tits is a hilarious. Wait, wait, search. how is strip tease porn the most popular? The most po- smoking? What is smoking? All right, first off, the strip tease. I'm pretty sure that's Utah, so that totally makes sense. What is smoking first porn? Off, Why does that make sense? Because what? they're the they're so like they're they're Mormons, dude. Oh, okay. Yeah. So let's just get this straight. Let's just start at Maine and go down on the progression here. We start at cum shots. Canada, basically into cum shots. You go down, you hit hand job, but 
which goes down for a second, but you go right over to the left, and it's gangbang. So it's clear to me between Vermont and New Hampshire that one of them parties and one of them does not. Well, you bring up a good point there. What you said, one of them what? Parties? Parties. Uh, if you take a look at Alaska in the bottom left corner... <laughs> What kind of porn is party porn? Listen, there's only 38 people that live in Alaska. If one person looked up party porn, <laughs> that's their number one search. <laughs> Someone in Alaska is like, I'm horny and so alone. <laughs> Just really into parties all the time. Oh, They're man. Red it's my birthday. Wait, let's just go down the Mississippi <laughs> River here. <laughs> Small tits, pissing, fisting, solo female, ebony. What a fucking progression. <laughs> I look at this m- the most ebony porn on the side of the Mississippi. I love pissing Both porn. Both sides. Who looks up pissing porn? I just can we look I mean I don't I don't want to look up porn. Solo but female is that what like is a What is smoking porn? Uh, that's just like smoking cigarettes while you're like fucking, right? I think so. I would assume, right? Yeah, I don't know what else it would what be. Is that? What unless is that it's like for you? Unless it's like wait, what state is it? I'm bad at geography. What state like smoking? Uh, uh, Maryland. Maryland? Baltimore, those Baltimore, there you go. They all got, the last thing they remember of their dad is him putting out a cigarette on their skin and then going out for more cigarettes. What is vintage? Just a chick with a bush? (laughs) Or is it a dude with a bush? (gasps) Wait, where's, where's that? Who's looking at vintage? Uh, You gotta remember that these are women searches. New Jersey is Indian? That's what I said. This is women searches. Somebody in, in Virginia is aggressively searching German men. I like those men German. South Carolina with the smoking. Wait, why is it all the racist states have a racial porn category? Because it's uh, it's it's because it's you're not supposed to like it. it I know. That's, why. That's my point. I just want to bring it's the viewers' up. eye to it, and I just wanted to explain it for the viewers. I appreciate that. Alaska's that. not allowed to party, so they <laughs> want to party. <laughs> uh, my thing with porn categories is why are they organized alphabetically? Like, poor children trying to get into <laughs> porn for the first time. They're like, let's take it from the top. Anal. Let's uh, think about the teens who are fucking, okay? Let's think about them for once. They shouldn't find BDSM before they find missionary, right? <laughs> I just love to think about the women in, I don't even know what state that is. That's just like, I'll tell you right now, we're looking up fisting and we're only looking up fisting. <laughs> Yeah, do do you, I wonder if there we could see like this over time? Like they started off just being into like fucking regular ass porn. Can we look over up, the years? Can we look up top relative categories viewed by men by Pornhub? Can we just try to see if we get Pornhub? It's probably recommended if it's insights. underneath. Maybe I love the idea of Pornhub Insights. Uh, oh wait, is that it? When compare? Oh wait, no, compared to other studies. I love that lesbian. I guess porn. it doesn't have fucking. Whatever. It's funny because none of these lists are the same. They're all different. I like this one that is lesbian for almost all of the country except for MILF. <laughs> because if you want mom porn, you don't want lesbian porn. That's, like, honestly the biggest divide. There's you not know? like seeing a big chunk of land called lesbian or black. There's just nothing like it. No, honestly, this is, like, this is what we're looking at in the next five to ten years, dude. Lesbians taking over the country, dude. Most viewed gay categories. Straight. Black. No, it's literally like a Democratic Republican. Look at the left. <laughs> Look at it. It's like straight guys. Hey, all you straight men vote Republican. And then they're like, yeah, the black guys, though, are voting Democratic, baby. They love. They want to be included. I, I did just notice this is viewed by gay guys, but I yep. still love the straight idea guys. of like a straight dude being like, I want to make sure there's no homos in my porn. <laughs> I want straight dudes fucking chicks. That's what I Average want. Average time spent per visit, New Jersey pretty low. <laughs> That's what I like to see. God, people are We're fucking... busy people. We're busy people. What is that? Mississippi? People in Mississippi are fucking taking their time. Kansas, they wasting no time in Kansas. That's a nine- Minute crank out. Dude, nine minutes pretty good. I like how there's one state artsy enough to be like POV porn. <laughs> like, that's is, all we that's watch. That's just literally colors. That's just a porn hub cat. Like, that looks like maze. That's the whole country watching Native American porn. Wait, wait, what's wait, what's that chart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up one. Yep, perfect. What does that say? Most viewed categories Japanese. In what context? Lesbian. Well, amateur. I mean, hentai is to- <gasps> Yo, I think it's just in general. I think it's just jump. in general there. Popular with women is the one of the most popular categories. Popular, <laughs> not women, popular with them. Well, I would like them to think well, that I'm cool. Have <laughs> you noticed that though on some of the porn sites, they'll actually say like this is a this is a 
uh, like a video that's for women, and I'm like, wait, what? Like I'm confused. Oh yeah, well, we'll say like uh, uh, like F F F four F or something like female for female or something like that, or male for something yeah. It's like, like well, made apparently for, yeah, women yeah, yeah. are into everything from fisting to ebony fisting, so. Yeah, like feet and fisting and pissing. Uh, Ooh. can I get a piss fist, please, for eight hundred? Yo, hentai up there, pretty high. That's pretty high. I actually uh, amateur shot. I eight, eight just slots, wherever, wherever learned the uh, origin of hentai porn. Did you know that hentai porn was caused by the assassination of fucking uh, Franz Duke Ferdinand or whatever the fuck his name was? Oh yes, I did know that. Nah, dude, because he was assassinated, which started fucking World War One. <laughs> Who the fuck is that, dude? Dude, he was the guy who was fucking killed, and then that started World War One, and then fucking after World War One, there was a Treaty of Versailles, which made Germany mad, which started World War Two, which had Japan join, and when America fucking was like, yo, we're camping out in Japan, they brought comic books, and then the Japanese fucking banned porn, so they're like, we're gonna draw our own, and they're like, well, you can't draw dicks, and they said, that's fine, we'll draw tentacles, and it's all because of fucking Americans. All right. That's like, they read Superman, and they were like, but what if he had a tentacle dick and it went all the way inside Lois's lane and came out of her mouth? Lois's lane. Lo- <laughs> Lo- he went down Lois's lane. Yeah. That's awesome. She's got a landing strip. Just yeah. fucking Lois's lane. Lois's dude. lane. Yeah, you know what's great? You know what my biggest takeaway from this list is? Big dick is down two spots. We're making a comeback, boys. Hell yeah. We're making a comeback. Where's the little dick Big at? dick's actually uh, going out of style. So maybe you guys haven't checked the stats. I see big tits is pretty high up there. Have they you have considered- to convince a woman. You're like, actually, if you looked at the charts, it's not trending right now. Actually, we are on the come up, so you might want to get ahead of the curve. Ahead of the curve? And then she blows a whistle. And you have to be, you know, you have to run away, because that's what you do when you hear a whistle. You run suicides. We talked uh, We talked a lot about dick sizes last week. And, really? Uh, I asked Rob- Without me? Yeah, super. Well, I was about to ask you a personal private question that I would like for you to share with the, the viewers. Uh... If your, your dick was in Sorry. like a fighting game, it has stats. Like we're talking like health, strength, agility. What is your if dick's the average, strongest skills? It, you don't have to give me the not numbers. Health. It's, it's not, not health. health. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Cruz said he is 99 agility. Could you imagine if it was like, yeah, my dick's health is low. Like, you know, <laughs> what does that mean? Like, it's, is it when, is when it damaged? Come, is it... Is it going through something? Is it just not long lasting? What does the health thing mean? When you come, your dick's just like coughing. It's. <coughs> I think. Oh, this is. I got. So I, it's funny because I got to think about this type of skills, like agility. He said. I, I honestly went to like RuneScape. I was like a pretty good at fire building. <laughs> I, I could, you know, fishing. My dick's great at fishing. I just <laughs> cast it right in. I actually just went up and baking. For the record, <laughs> I can actually bake a lot with my dick. Um. My number one attribute for my dick would probably be smithing. I made some uh, <laughs> made some diamond plate armor. Smithing, just probably my swordsmanship. <laughs> it's probably my swordsmanship is my number one quality. <laughs> accuracy, I'd say accuracy. Grappling. It's not much from a distance, but once I'm inside, it's like wow. Um, I'd say, I'd say, I don't know. All right, I'm thinking fair. of all my weaknesses right now. <laughs> I'm like stamina low, <laughs> health low. <laughs> How about power? Like you think you get a few a- average, a few heaves average in there? Power, a few cleaves. Average power. It's more about if determination was a stat. I'm like ready. I'm mentally prepared. All right, that's fair. I like that. Constitution, fortitude. Ooh, focused. Focus. My, my dick is the most focused dick. <laughs> I have a focus like a dick. laser. <laughs> but it's thicker. real fucking. <laughs> it's accurate and precise. It's fucking, I don't miss. <laughs> Meat laser. <laughs> Meat laser, dude. Uh, so, all right, new question. Uh, if you're trying to sell yourself as a porn category that you think is going to fucking sweep these brackets, what what category would you create for yourself? Wait, what are you saying right now? Like, like I'm talking like your, your sex, your style, your brand, your image, right? You got to put that in a category name for Pornhub to add to their shit. You know what I mean? Okay. What what do you think you could market yourself as? What do you think your porn audience is if you have one? My audience would be uh, older women. You think so? Yeah, older women really like me. Young girls, you, you like, like the something? girls like my age, are like you know we've there are hotter guys, but an older woman looks at me and goes, "He could be thirty. I'm not, but he could be thirty, and he's decently handsome for a, an older guy." So so you do some like. Good grandson porn. Like, you do no, like, no, 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 no. I'd be like the pool boy, and uh, these moms would want to fuck me. Oh, I, I thought you meant you were just going right, to be I like, lied. Fuck- I would want to fuck them. Okay, uh, there we uh, go. 
<laughs> but in my own porn head, they're seducing me. I'm not even doing any of the work. Do real life pool I'm boy porn? I'm just here porn? to clean the pool. <laughs> Where like the mom comes out and you're like, "Hey, Miss Smith," and she's like, "Don't fucking talk to me, Pedro. You know my husband told you." Why not am to I talk Spanish now? <laughs> Wait, why does the pool boy have to be Spanish, dude? Because the lady's racist, not me. <laughs> I know that your name why is Why is there Michael? a racist woman in your porn? You're like, I don't know. It's the type of chick I'm into. Vintage, vintage. Yeah, He's going vintage, vintage <laughs> too. I'm trying to get that I like main old school money. Porn. <laughs> I like old school porn. It just starts off. The first image is on a plantation. You just go, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm not clicking on this. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't know what I was signing up for. Is that the Crucible? What am I watching right now? Oh, uh, man. I'm trying to see if there's any surprises on this list for me. Solar eclipse traffic? Can we look at that? What does that mean? <laughs> B- big beautiful women's up five. How many of those numbers do you think are Lizzo? What does you this think that's just five Lizzo's? Oh, wait. This isn't about porn. Oh, it's about porn. Thank God. New Jersey went down how much? Wow. Holy shit. Wait, no. This is how much porn we watched during the solar eclipse, specifically. Yeah, it's which very I want to know what statistician was like, give me the data. I have the <laughs> questions. They all went down. Could you imagine if one went up, like, a lot? <laughs> they were like, well, nothing to do fucking today, dude. The sun's <laughs> going to be gone for, like, an hour. Yeah, where's Alaska at? Are they partying? <laughs> they par- What's party porn? <laughs> Ev, just look up party porn, and we'll see what happens. All right. Are you sure? Wow. Oh, we went incognito, dude. All right, look up party dude, porn. This is, like, the private investigator following me, Not part me, porn. Dude. Not part porn. It knows what we're looking at. <laughs> it knows. What is this gonna be? Oh, it's people fucking at parties. Okay. They're like, imagine if I knew more than seven oh, people. Alaska's That'd be like, so I remember hot. when I was invited over someone's house. Dude. <laughs> All right, let's get this out of here now. You never know. Jesus. You never, hey, here's the problem. You never know if it's a high school party, so we can't be looking at too much. <laughs> <laughs> can't be looking at too much here. I like that somebody uh f- like f- like blurred out the map as if they're like, listen, these <laughs> categories are fucking crazy. Dude. Yeah, this is actually a Japanese map, so <laughs> you ever they see can't Japanese show any fisting? Of it. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's just these. Th- it's just a blur. <laughs> porn watching by other countries. Yeah, porn happens by country. Let's get to that one. Damn, it looks like England or this Ireland. This is exciting. That one. Yeah, math yeah, yeah. is cool as shit. All right, Ireland really into teen cream pies. <laughs> <laughs> British hilarious. Milf. Lots of cartoons hey, and hentai. Can you imagine being in that tight right corner? That tight right corner would be like, listen, we actually major in anal. <laughs> we actually, it's a real small village. We're all really into it. Look, there's a lot of mature, and then there's a lot of cartoon and hentai. There's a lot of mature, also with a lot of teen, which is confusing. Yeah, it's like right. Na- it's like right in the middle. What are they with cream know. pie in the middle to bridge the sandwich? <laughs> I wonder right. if that uh, that area in the top left there with the ebony. I wonder if like it's like half ebony teen, half ebony mature, and like <laughs> they're actually split between the two. They're like I didn't even see under anal. That village below us is double penetration. We're actually a way more intense village than the northern village. <laughs> the northern village only likes anal. You like <laughs> celebrity on the left? They're just like we're closer to America. <laughs> Yo, dude, the fucking anal and the double penetration is like, and that's when the Fire Nation attacks. <laughs> <laughs> Slides right Uh-oh, in. Oh, she male. We got a little bit of a. How much celebrity weird, porn crazy... is there for you to sustain? No, your, your not fucking not southern enough, hemisphere. Believe me. believe me, it's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nowadays with all those like the AI stuff and everything they can do, they can just stick people's faces on. I mean, there's Does that more. say fidget spinner. I think it's a joke. Okay. <laughs> I hope there's not fidget spinner porn. I don't want to watch it. I'm, I'm already a, over I'm Oh, yeah. It's, it's really a stupid joke. Pearl Harbor is Hawaii's most watched porn category. Wow, this is crazy. Pearl Harbor, that's a, what, a cum shot do on you the vagina? Want, do, uh. you want, do you want dibs on the porn category bracket, or do you want me to do it? Uh, I'm putting it up now on the table if you I, want it. I, or I'll take it. Do you think maybe we should... I'm going to take it. I think you can have it. I think you can have it. I'll take it. Because my category, my bracket's taking a lot of work, dude. I've had to do a lot of research. Hint, hint. Are you doing 64 or 32? You shoot 32. I, I'm doing 32, I think. I feel like 64 is just a bit too much. 64 is what I want. <sighs> you got to narrow it down even more. I want 64 men I'm gonna in bring, my I'm bracket. Gonna, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to really throw you off. I'm going to bring a bracket in of all of the comedians we know locally, seated, and I'm going to make you pick like who's the best out of the Oh, out I'll of do them. that easily. But could you imagine I come in seated, somebody comes in, they're like, I'm a 12 seed? <laughs> What the fuck? And I'm like, dude, every year a 12 upsets a 5. Every year. You know that. I think people will get more upset at your seating than they would at me picking because they're like, <laughs> I know. that's what Jeff thinks of me? Yeah. And what this this other guy say? <laughs> what second name on the podcast say? Dude, you want to know something really crazy? Uh, to go back to that ke- the keg thing that I got when I got the oh, keg. Oh, when you tapped your girlfriend? When I tapped my girlfriend. <laughs> oh, when I didn't tap the keg. Um, I went to tap the keg, but uh, I remember the guy who gave it to me for free. 
Yeah. I was like, why are you giving this to me for free? And he goes, well, I bought it, you know, for uh, my daughter's birthday party. But she's turning one, so I figured, you know, we probably don't need to all get blasted at my daughter's first birthday party. I was like, I can't believe you bought <laughs> this keg. It's a nine and a half percent beer. I drank three glasses. I was like, I'm pretty fucked. This keg fucked is up. literally bigger than your daughter. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> can you, you imagine can drown your daughter in having this keg? a one year old and being like, all right, so we got a half keg of Stone IPA. And you're like, oh, that's a lot. That's a lot and aggressive. I mean, like, how many trips to the party store before you're just like, I'm fucking miserable. <laughs> <laughs> I want one daughter's amount of beer, please. Like He's like, what's happening? She's turning one already? Oh, God, here come the boys. I need to start just drinking away. I would hate to have a daughter because I'd have to fight every single man in existence. You think so? Including you. You think you'd have a hot daughter, though? No. Then that's fine. No, I don't. I think I'd make her a lesbian. <laughs> I, I think you just you need to just tell I would your daughter. Breed her. <laughs> you just got to raise your daughter to be a fucking brat-ass bitch, and you'll be good to go. I'll just teach her how to, like, wrestle or do guy things so that she's not attractive. Like, I'll, I'll Robin Shabbat's gear. You can't just wrestle your daughter, dude. Yeah, I can. I can wrestle whoever, whatever little girl I want. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody can tell me otherwise, all right, dude? <laughs> fucking seriously. Her dad shows up, you're like, well, I didn't say I'd wrestle any dudes, okay? I will, though. I'll fucking do it. You pick any little girl to represent you <laughs> in this fucking Thunderdome. I'll suplex any bitch here <laughs> under the age of 12. I'm the fucking king of the tea party. <laughs> Just underground wrestling where you beat up. It's almost like uh, fucking what's his face, uh, uh, Andy uh, Kaufman. Andy oh, Kaufman yeah, yeah. always did the bit where he wrestled like women, <laughs> and he always <laughs> talked shit on women right before he fought them. <laughs> like, he wouldn't wrestle men; he would only wrestle like women. Dude, I mean, he no, would wrestle some men. You got to know your limits, you know. Dude, it's like uh, Mark Maron has a whole show about it, right? Glow isn't that like about women wrestling? Uh, it's it's really not about good men show. wrestling it? yeah. women. It's actually really well done. <laughs> well, oh, I finished the first season. That was the second season. I didn't find it. Watch it. Yet. Okay. I don't, have, ne- really I don't have Netflix. Good. I don't have Netflix anymore. So <laughs> why not, Ev? Because it's like seventeen bucks a month. It's a lot. Is it's it a lot. really? I use Rusty still. Um, oh wow. <laughs> what? No. Why do you think I'm always watching stuff on your? You don't see the stuff that pops up. <laughs> no. I don't, I don't. I always watch on Rusty. I don't still. use it. Netflix is trash, honestly. Yeah. It's got I, some stuff. It, it's just like where you go to compromise with your girlfriend. Like when you're like, I want to watch this. And That's she's the like, problem. Everything's so spread out that you're like, what do I go to? And you're like, we don't have to have some stuff. I mean, Hulu has some stuff. And Disney Plus has some stuff. Like, I want all of it. They like ruined TV again. Yeah. They separated all they the They made channels. it TV again. They literally made, it was like they were all like in the United Nations and then they split up into like Earth and Fire Nation and that's <laughs> that's how history works. Right? I, I think they just need to like start going for the webs. Just get me like a whole package, you know what I mean? Like include Pornhub, include browsers, like give Porn me everything package. in one place. You know what, dude? All my streaming services, like I, I mean I can't cancel Pornhub. <laughs> your girlfriend's like, I mean we should probably cancel one of them, right? And you're like, I mean maybe Hulu? What are you thinking? <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, I got full length videos over here. I, I get my fisting, I get my pissing, I get all of my videos. I get fucking double I travel the whole anal. country and I like to really take in the local culture, okay? You think I'm going to visit fucking Oklahoma and not watch female fisting videos? That's crazy. Dude, we got to start lining up our March guests with the best brat. You're not even going to be here for the one in March. Not the one. Should we start early then and do uh, the end in February? Like do an early one? Or maybe we could schedule a different day that week. Whatever works. Okay. Bitch. Um, it's fine. I'll probably bring in. I might bring in Charles. I might bring in somebody else, though. Maybe a comedian. Okay. We'll see. Charles dropped a new album. He did. Charlie Blaze. Charlie uh, Blaze, dude. So, Sometimes I Wish I Was Dead. You can yep. stream it now. It is. He is a dark, a it, darker fellow. It sounds good. Yeah, he's good. Sounds like an angry little peep, like if his ghost was like really yeah. trying hard to communicate yep. through the, you the tell, ethereal. You, you can tell peep influenced him. Absolutely. You can tell. It's all over. Just a peep. It's, a, it's just a little peep. And what do we have time-wise right now? Well, I was throwing it up on there, but uh, an hour and seven minutes. One hour and seven minutes? Oh, oh I didn't even see. It. Okay, fuck yeah. Okay. I now, have I have a question. Is there any way to cut the first 10 minutes of this podcast? <laughs> that would be. Or is that a no? Or can we not do that? Is that, I too, actually is that thought, too complicated? I actually thought that you guys did better on the second go around introducing Agreed? everything okay. than, right. you, than, than we did on the first one. All right. You guys okay. fucked maybe up. We yeah. just, maybe we just cave. Maybe we, maybe, we were just, maybe we were just so in our heads about things. I, I, th- think, I, I think, think there it, was I think there was like a good, there was a two minutes We're very transparent where, with yeah. uh, how confident we are in ourselves. Yeah. So we're always like, should we delete this? Or like, people hate us. I, like I lost think, it all. I like Fuck. to think our fans <laughs> like being along for the ride. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's hope Rob Cruz's fans stick around. Oh, uh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, tell me how fucking uh, my roommate, she invited. If you're list- if you came here listening through Sophia, Thank you for listening. I'm so sorry that you started on last episode because I just like told the story of this guy that she bagged who had a super oh, tiny dude. dick. 
And I talked about how her mom married a 35 year old Jamaican guy named Jody who told me to respect his eyes. And yeah, uh, he's following you around. And got a yeah, dude. Investigator on oh you. my god, if it's a fucking Jamaican investigator, I'm screwed, dude. I'm nervous. I gotta go. Uh, let's go fight some guy. You think so? I don't want to do it. You I need you him. there, Dad. <laughs> Dad. Uh, you just call me Dad. <laughs> cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Oh, wow. Cut it. Cut well, it. Cut it. Cut it. This has been a Drop Tent Media Production.